We're back on Golden Venture Racing. This is the red and blue to decide if you're going to win 200 Worm Arrow this week. It's been going on for two weeks prior to this. We have many more weeks to go to win 200 Worm Arrow every single week. You just go inside the game, look at their events. It'll take you to a web page, and it will tell you which team do you want to vote for, red or blue, and we've got it broken down. Now, we did break this down last week, and we got it wrong, but it wasn't our fault. Something was wrong with the test server, and I proved that. So this week, we're really scared. We're scared that our results might not be right. They should be, but we are scared that they might not necessarily be right. We've got this all on a two-hour stream. If you want to check that out, I'm dropping that right after this video. But of course, we went in here and made sure everyone was scrolled. They had the right gear. They had the right stats on every single one of these heroes, and they're in the right position. Then I went to look to see when they would fire off their abilities. Like right here, we've got 8.7 seconds for a Horus to do is provoke for five seconds, which is really strong and actually really fast compared to a lot of other heroes. And this is what's gonna play a major role for us here. When he does this provoke, it basically wraps up the whole other team and they can't do anything else. They're just gonna die. And Amon does do a lot of damage, but really she does a lot of damage when she's in blaze state. And it takes a long time to get into blaze state. She doesn't even get there. She just does enough damage on this ability and on this ability to basically wipe out the other team very quickly and very easily here's where we're on stream breaking down the formation we had to flip it invert it like and then match it up together to make sure we had the correct formation and then we came in here and did multiple fights and i'm going to show you a fight right now there we go because we're making sure i'm like are you sure guys we got to make sure everything is correct this week so we really paid extra attention to any kind of detail we could. You can see Horus is right front and center along with Furbath. They've got their three melee. And somebody said on my stream today, always seems like the one with the most melee is losing. And again, the one with the most melee is losing. Here they come in. Horus is going to provoke and he's going to catch all of them except for Lothair. And you can see Horus's ultimate gauge. See how high it is right now? It's well higher than anybody else. And it's not because he has the most skill haste. It's because his ultimate doesn't take like the initial ultimate time is very low, much lower than uh, Felosia over here and everyone else. So he's going to catch them with this. Okay, there's a little slower speed. It's coming up and everybody's protected over there with shields. He's provoking now, which catches a majority of them. You can see they've already had somebody die. It's just... They don't have much defense. Every single one of the enemies over there that are melee have an additional 300 defense. That's all they've got, which you would assume, right? Glass cannon melee, and they just sit here and die. Now, if it's different this week, if it is totally different than this and plays out different, there is something extremely wrong with the test server. Now, this wasn't just one test we did. We did this many, many times, and believe me, I went back through... I looked at all the gear, I looked at all the skill haste, made sure they were scrolled, made sure they had appropriate defense, HP, attack, crit rate, critical damage, all that stuff. As close as we could get. Sometimes it'll say 26 skill haste, and we hit 27 or 25. So we got to go with that, because we can't sit there all day and try to find the exact amount, and it's kind of impossible. Depending on what gear you have, it's impossible to match exactly what they have. So we try to get right to it and we did we got really close with all of it but every time we ran this it was a massacre like there was nothing coming in to, like, there, there was no battle here it just rolled out we came in Horus did a provoke there's nothing going on with Mithrasi Mithrasi is there to stop somebody from dying she's there to revive everybody if she does her ultimate and then give them a buff so if they do die they come back to life she didn't need to do any of that Gloin comes in though right there on point and removes any kind of buffs they have and then applies Witch's Remains. So you can see he's firing off in a three by three. He's got three hits with Witch's Remains and three hits to remove buffs. And he does do that. You can see they're removing it. Decreased defense is up all around. And then we have Amon coming in doing her ultimate ability right after she just blew up everybody. Look at that. That hit the dude on the side over there. That rare just blasted him for 73,000 because he's got super low defense the lowest on the team and then now she's doing her ultimate and she has really high critical damage i think it's 270 critical damage and she always crits on her moves she's an exclusive that that uh siren mermaid thing and here she does her ability and with decreased defense up 
dead. And it wasn't even the powered up ability. Like she doesn't even hit very hard on that ability. 500% of her attack, but she's got good attack, really high critical damage, guaranteed to crit, and he had Witch's Remains on, and he's only got like 340 additional defense on top of his base defense. So Lothair went down really quickly. Now Lothair didn't get a chance to put off any kind of damage because there wasn't a lot of poisons put up. So even when he's in here doing a little damage on Horus, because at that point, Horus would have the lowest max HP. Lothair's battle skill will jump on somebody, anybody on the enemy's team who has the lowest current max HP. And of course, everybody's targeting Horus on our team or on the winning team, and he's going down in HP, so he's the one that Lothair is staying on and not doing much damage to him because he is getting heals, right? We got a battle skill heal back there from Mithrasi. She's healing everybody. She has insanely high enlightenment at like 413 enlightenment. All I can say is this is what's going to happen. And if this doesn't happen, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to have to have talks with them, talks about the test server, talks about the live server. What the hell is going on if it doesn't go out this way? Because it was just, there's no question. There is no denying who the winner is going to be. And if you're curious which team this is, this is the red team. So if you've chosen blue and you want to go change it, you can go back through that website that's in there within the event. Go click on that button. Go back there. Change your option to red if you believe in what we're doing here because this is the red team that won. And the blue team with all the poison stuff, just no. They cannot win. It's not going to happen. But we'll see in a few days. You only have tonight and then tomorrow. I think you have all day tomorrow to make your choice. And then we'll have a new one of these starting a few days after which we'll get an early video out on that remember you don't have to vote on this right away and of course you can always change your choice with this so if you're seeing this video now make sure you subscribe we're going to do this every single week and get you 200 worm arrow if you don't choose properly then you only get a few starlight dice i think it's like two starlight dice or 200 worm arrow i'll take the worm arrow please thanks for watching guys appreciate your love and support please subscribe if you haven't and i will see you all in a video soon